Welcome back to my another tutorial on how to model oblique support in Fusion 360. So let's get started. So we can start off by making the base of the model. So go to sketch, select the top plane. The size of the base plane is uh, 4 by 5.5. So go to center rectangle. It's always better to select center rectangle if the model is symmetrical in shape give the respective dimensions and finish the sketch the height of the base is 0.82 so extrude the base to 0.82 next step you have to give the corner radius which is 0.5 go to fillet command select all four corners and keep the radius as 0.5 next is uh, to create the bottom so select the bottom face create sketch select uh, rectangle and let's create two rectangles one this way and the other in this manner so the distance from the corner is uh, 1.2 so give the distance as 1.2 on all the sides there are many ways to do this you can either create each box individually or create a rectangular pattern now I'm using trim command to remove those lines. Sketch, go to extrude and select the bottom drawing and cut extrude the drawing up to 0.12. Click OK. Next step is to make four holes of size 0.5. The distance is 0 0.70 from the corners. So let's go to sketch, select the top face and uh, select the rectangle and draw the rectangle on the top face approximately in the center and keep the distance from the edge of the rectangle to the corner edge as 0 0.70 do it on all the sides select all edges and uh, click on construction finish the sketch go to hole command and select the four corners of the rectangle this is just another way to make holes you can also use the rectangular pattern again just make one hole and use the rectangular pattern but I find this much easier so it's up to you guys give the diameter as uh, 0.5 and I click OK now the base of the model is completed now we will make the top part so we have to use the reference point um, which is at a distance of uh, 1.3 and 0.8 and uh, that top model is at an angle of 20 degree so select the top face and select point draw the point at a distance of 1.3 and 0.8 click on finish sketch go to construct select the axis perpendicular to face and to the point create an axis now select plane we are going to create plane at an angle so we need the axis now Create the plane to 20 degree. Click OK. Now select the plane as our sketch and draw the side face. Just draw the rough sketch, make the bottom line coincident to the edges, and give the dimensions now. The angle is 25 degree. Also make sure you see the perpendicular symbol on the corner edges and give the rest of the dimensions. Make this point coincident to the axis and the height is uh, 0 0.2. Now give the distance which is uh, 0.4 and 0 0.8. Make sure while giving these dimensions the dimension lines are exactly parallel. Now our drawing is all black lines which means our Drawing is constraint, so exit the sketch, click on extrude command and extrude it up to the length of 3.5. Next step is to create the center cut. So select the slant face and select the circle command. And as soon as you the little triangle, that means our circle is in the center of 3.5 and give the diameter as 2.8. Exit the sketch. And you can extrude cut select up to face and select the back face 
with this uh, the CAD modeling of oblique support is completed. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you need the CAD drawing link, uh, check out my blogging website, which is maxsavvy.com. I will leave the CAD drawing link in the description below. Until next tutorial.